Today, the Illini step up in class with another interstate opponent. NIU comes to town with one of the top rushing attacks in the nation. Huskies and Illini next on the Big Ten Network. Meanwhile, for Northern Illinois, a redshirt junior quarterback back at the helm, Chandler Harnish led the victory last week over North Dakota. Yeah, he, he accompanied Chad Spann to go over 300 yards rushing for that offense. He's the leader of that team as well, and so we do have a, a great contrast here, and we'll pay close attention today to see how he performs in his continuity with his receiving core. We expect a competitive battle here this afternoon in Champaign's Shield House. There's Jerry Kill. He had a rather unusual week after the first game of the season on a Thursday night against Iowa State. He underwent some surgery not related to the cancer surgery he had earlier in his career. Came back really quickly and coached the team for the next week against North Dakota State. Then went to the hospital after last week's game and spent most of this week in the hospital. He was released on Thursday night taking care of some issues related to that surgery. But he's back on the sidelines here this afternoon and no one is surprised that he made it back for the Huskies. Now third down and 12 for Northern Illinois. Offensive coordinator Matt Leingrover. This is exactly what he could not afford to be is behind the chains with his team. Harnish afforded good protection to start over the middle. He's got more and he has the first down across the 30 yard line. Martell Moore sophomore from San Antonio Texas but it was the protection that allowed yeah, you can see these guys really buying into that gate of about seven on the play leaves third down and about three a little bit less than three. Harnish the keeper straight ahead and it pops wide open into Illinois territory to the Illini 42 yard line Chandler Harnish on the keep Tavon Wilson made the tackle the most important part of this play is the fake watch the defense and then look at this hole right here that's a huge hole but the fake is the thing that sold it that gave Harnish the ability to go straight up that hole and pick up big yardage. 18 yard scamper by Harnish who was outstanding as we mentioned earlier with 178 yards rushing in that win over North Dakota a week ago. First and 10. Ryder is the running back. They get motion from the tight end of the backfield. Harnish looks for the air off play action. Oh he's got a man wide open down the middle. Palmer to the end zone and it is down to the one yard line. Forty one yards to the doorstep for the Huskies. Big play right down the middle of the field. The play action sells it with the fake and the middle of the field is wide open. I don't know if they were in a zone or man on that but the middle of the field was wide open right there and they, Nathan Palmer executes perfectly. And Nate Bussey he left Nate in his wake and Bussey hustled back. Landon Cox the lone wide receiver bottom of your screen. And over the top, straight ahead, the touchdown for Chad Spann. Chad Spann says, you know what? I can go over the top, too. And comes right back at this Illinois defense and goes right up the gut. They bring Flay Hive in as the lead blocker. And he gets an opportunity to go over the top. Watch the rise over the top in the end zone. Third down for Northern Illinois. Third and about four. Chad Spann alongside of Harnish in the shotgun. They get motion from Scarb, the fullback. Harnish fakes the pass, takes it on the run, got a first down and more to the 20, to the house. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Andrew Harnish, the ball carrier, rushes for a Northern Illinois touchdown. NIU. Scampers into the a lead. Yard touchdown run Chandler Harnish, 37 yard touchdown run. The key right here to this big play is the block by Kyle Scarb, number 34. Springs Harnish for the touchdown. Coach Kill, an outstanding staff. They turned around that Southern Illinois program and they're doing the same thing at Northern Illinois, trying to extend the success and build on the success Joe Novak had. Into Calva. Chandler Harnish on the loose again. Got a first down to the 32 yard line. Anytime he gives you that Statue of Liberty look, yeah, he may be thinking pass, but if you go, 
Let's go back to the replay here. Here's the Statue of Liberty look. Now he's just going to tuck the ball and run it. I think on that particular play, it was it was designed for a pass play, but he saw a cavity in the defense and took advantage. Today's sprint epic run features NIU's upset win over Purdue last season, almost a year to the date. September 19, 2009, a 28-21 victory by the Huskies. They scored 21 unanswered points in the second quarter for the total domination of time of possession. 41 minutes, 40 seconds to 18-20, and total yards, 454 to 335. First Big Ten win for the Huskies in 21 seasons. Let me take a look. Since Joe Novak took over that program up there in DeKalb and got things turned around three years into his regime, NIU has more than held its own. Beavers, a couple of them to the top of your screen. One to the bottom. Harness rolling to the top. Nice throw on the move, and he's got a first down to Landon Cox, just short of the 25-yard line. Justin Green responding from the secondary. Julon Henry was also there. It's a good job of uh, Chandler Harnish getting out of the pocket, rolling left, getting the ball to Cox. They said they had an emphasis on getting him the ball this week, and they're proving that true. Illinois leading it by six as we head toward the fourth quarter. A little over two and a half minutes to go here in the third. Span is the tailback. Scarb the fullback in motion. Harnish, a long throw and a good route and catch made by Landon Cox once again. This went out near the 34-yard line, just short of the first down, nine-yard game. Very dangerous throw right there. It has to come over the head of a defensive back, but Chandler Harnish does a great job with the touch of completing that pass. And I tell you what, Landon Cox is off to a good game. Third down for Northern Illinois. Arnish now 12 of 16 passing. Over the middle, got his man once again the crossing pattern. And this time Martel Moore turns it upfield into Illinois territory to the 46-yard line where Justin Green makes the hit. This time they catch him in a zone. Before it was man, they had Trayvon Bellamy there to make the play. But guess what? If you run zone, there's going to be cavities in that defense. And so now Martel Moore gets an opportunity to catch the ball. First and ten, Chad Spann, the tailback, and the pistol. Harnish with that shoulder fake. Got his man wide open. That's Marks, the tight end. Boy, he's really been trying to go to him and has thrown, targeted that receiver on numerous occasions. This one, 22 yards and a first down for Jerry Kills. Huskies. Yeah, you know, and this time our tight end is going to leak out here. I think this... Oh, excuse me. This tight end over here is going to leak out. And he's going to come across. We can roll that footage. He's going to leak out across. And the run that brings up the defender and allows him to be wide open in the. And here they are to the line of scrimmage. Northern Illinois, one of the favorites, one of the preseason favorites in the Western Division of the MAC. Came in here one and one off a loss at Iowa State and a win at home over North Dakota. First and ten. Harnish pursued by legit. Oh, beautiful throw on the run and a diving grab by Landon Cox. Got a first down across the 33 yard line. As you see Chandler rolling out to his right, looking for his key go to guy, Cox, finds him, gets down, first down. Keep the drive going. They've got to score quickly on this drive. It's a two possession game right now. Landon Cox led the team with 45 receptions, four touchdowns a year ago. First and ten. That's Palmer, the speed receiver in motion. This is a quarterback keeper. Oh, Harnish got a couple of good blocks. Harnish into the clear. Bellamy's got a pursuit angle on him and slows him up, and down he goes near the 20 yard line. Justin Green finally caught him. Green is a sprint champion out of Kentucky, two time state 100 meter champion. Bellamy slowed him up, but look at this run. Good patience in the hole. Good vision and good explosion, but you're not going to outrun Justin Green, the two-time, you know, 100-meter champion there. But he got 47 yards at a first down of the Illini, 19-yard line. Not over yet, big fella. Not over, <laughs> not quite yet. You know, this team is going to go out kicking and screaming. They're not going to go easy. Harnish, longest run of his career, is a redshirt junior. Hopkins looking to throw. Got a man open in the end zone. Touchdown, Landon Cox. 
Little razzle dazzle to get back into the game. Well, I'll tell you what, you get a guy that runs east and west, draws up the defense, and uh, they just completely forgot about Landon Cox. Now, as he dropped, now can we pause the film right there? That's just a <laughs> first and ten for the Huskies. Arnish with that shoulder fake. Hits the tight end marks once again breaks a couple of tackles. How about this one all the way out to the 36 yard line that looked like Mike did get Pittsburgh in 1963 in black and white. <laughs> no quitting this guy. I tell you what he finds the cavity once again in that defense and boy, rumbling stumbling <laughs> bumbling you know he is not going to go down refuse 